Hi, this is a continuation here. I'm talking to a Muslim, and um, I use this side of my face, uglier side, plus an Arab, mock Arabic accent for his words. I do this side for mine. Okay, so I start here. Okay. All right. We can make family with the latter, with Christians, but not the first. Right. They are to become Muslim, not vice versa, or it's throat slashing time. We can be friends and allies. Quran 328. But you asshole don't know Arabic. No, just use multitude of different versions of the Quran in English to cut through the taqiyya and see a verse how it really means, that's all. Al means guide. See other surahs. If I take Ramatran as my guide, I will be shitting in my pants in hell for sure. Unless you really don't mean to take me as your friend by guarding against me. Thus say you are my friend while not meaning it. And if you really are good at getting me to believe that you are my friend, you can frag me like what happens to your soldiers in Afghanistan. See Quran 2 verse 257 and Quran 328. Right. Quran 328. 3, 175, 889. See also 1062. What? No, 551. Yusuf Ali quote, Behold, verily, on the friends of Allah there is no fear, nor shall they grieve. Wrong! Uh, what's it really say? Most of translators are Indians. They cannot master the meaning. If Satan is my wali, it means that I follow Satan because he is my guide. al yaya al yaya is plural of Wali. If Allah is my Wali, then he is my guide, not my friend. I thought Wali had more meaning than just guide, that it meant helper or even protector. I am Wali for my children, meaning I take other and guide them. Obama is Wali of the USA. And he is Wali, he's, he's Wali-ing us into hell, if you ask me. Meaning he is Presentative, representative, representative of U.S. people. Oh, so Wally also means representative now as well. Your liar is Wally also because he represents you in court, in, in, in courts. Man, Wally means a lot, not just gender, helper, protector. I see. If I want to marry, I ask the hands of the girl from the her Wally. He could be an uh, anyone appointed. He he could be anyone appointed by her. Still, Wally means a lot, I see. Angel is Ibrani or Sirani. Oh, so you're saying Jesus wasn't speaking Ar Aramaic, but Ibrani or Sirani? No lambs are in no lambs are in roasted when they come with their swords saying holy crusades. What? No lambs are in roasted when they come with their swords saying holy crusades. And they are wolves when they come with their drones. May Allah guide you to the correct path. Peace be upon you, symbolic. Symbolic? Gospel is not mentioned in the Quran because it is an Arabic, because, because it is no Arabic nor Hebrew. Could you run that by me again? Gospel is not mentioned in the Quran because it is not, it's not Arabic nor Hebrew. Since it is as Injil, are you saying Ibrani and Sirani are Arabic? What? But guess what? Injil is Arabic. Ibrani and Sirani are Arabic? Meaning sending camels or cattle to feed Najil, which is grass. Other meanings include sun, breed, noble, original. A sickle is a handheld tool with a variety of curved blades typically used for cutting succulent forage chiefly for feeding livestock so still the meaning the meanings hover around the sheep principle so jesus didn't speak aramaic but spoke either ibrani or sirani and those are arabic does that make sense to you O slave of the best of deceivers first arabs arabs are known for thousands of years <coughs> arabs are known for thousands of years that they are ignorant and uneducated 
like Muhammad was supposed to be, right? But who are very fluent and very smart in the language of Sirani or Ibrani? I personally know many senile people. No one of them could make a mistake in the Quran. Oh, because they memorized it when they were kids? Secondly, it was memorized by thousands of Muslims and thousands of Muslim enemies. I'd rather they study it than memorize it. So it was recorded in their safe hands of friends and enemies. I bet it was the enemies that memorized Surah 96, true? About uh, the clot, yeah. The, Muslims tell me it's not the clot, but uh, it really means uh, clinging substance. Um, so, I bet it was the enemies that memorized Surah 96, true? Probably any enemies that also memorized Surah 4, verse 24, and 4, verse 34, true? Hey, you can't get rid of your Dali genetics. Both you and Yusuf Ali are dumb and ajam. Which English version of the Quran suggests I use which English version of the Quran suggests I use as reference or are all who translate the Quran into English in conspiracy in Quran 5 verse 47 5 verse 66 5 verse 68 that does not mean to judge at all oh can you put how it's really supposed to sound in English please sheep cannot judge so Muhammad I, I mean Allah was being flippant in Quran 547 <coughs> well, it is the best of deceivers, isn't it? The true meaning is abide the law or stand fast by the law. Yusuf Ali is Indian, but I appreciate his great work. You got my curiosity up. I think I'll check out Quran verse 547 in different versions. Okay, this is uh, uh, Muhammad Asad. Let them, the followers of the gospel, judge in accordance uh, what God has revealed therein, for they do not judge in the light of what God has bestowed on them, exposed from, ex ex bestowed from on high. It is they; they are the truly iniquitous. Pickle says, "Let the people of the gospel judge by which Allah hath revealed therein. These are judges not by that which hath uh, revealed. Such are evil livers." Shakir and the followers of the angel should be should have judged by what Allah hath revealed in it, and whosoever does not, you know, okay. okay. Uh, let the, then uh, there's Yusuf Ali original. Uh, let the people of the gospel judge by what God hath revealed therein, and then uh, another one says, let the people of the gospel give judgment by what God caused to descend in it, and whoever gives not judgment. Okay. Uh, then another one says, um, Wahid Hadun Khan says, Therefore, let those of the go follow the gospel judge according to what God has revealed in it. Another one says, Let the people of the gospel judge by what God has sent down into down in it. Uh, yeah, those who do not judge by what God has sent down are perverse. Just it is just as it was mandatory. That the Jews would use Altara, 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 as the standard of judgment, so would the Christians. Um, they are commanded to use Al Injil as the canon law by which to judge matters. Uh, he who does not use the standard of judgment is re as revealed by Allah shall be wrongful of actions such as persons that are wicked. Like now, progressive Muslim says this, and let the people of the angel judge with the God what, what God has sent down to it. And whoever does not judge by what God has sent down, then these are the vile ones. <coughs> Adam Abdel Halim, Halim says, so let the, God, the followers of the gospel judge according to what God has sent down in it. And another one says, let the let the people of the angel judge by that which Allah hath sent down therein. Uh, Ahmed Ali, let the people of the gospel judge by which has been revealed in it by God. Um, Ali, uh, yeah, uh, Beli says, let the people of the gospel judge uh, should the, the, let the, the the people of the gospel should judge by what Allah has sent down in it. Uh, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. Okay, gosh, it just goes on and on and on. Okay, then Muhammad Sewer. The followers of the Gospel, New Testament, says in the New Testament, must judge according to what God has revealed in it. 
those who do not judge by the laws of God. That one says, and the people of the Injil must judge according to uh, what Allah has sent down therein. And that one says, and let the people of the gospel uh, judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And if they don't, they're not on the right. They're not on the right path, and the, then they'll read that bell. And anyway, it goes on and on and on. Uh, okay, yeah, and the people of the Injil gospel too are required to judge in accordance with that commandment which Allah has sent down. Another one says, uh, uh, and and Allah who Injil must base judgment in accordance with what Allah has revealed therein, and whosoever does not did not pronounce judgment in accordance with the um, but Allah has sent down that uh, then those people are uh, okay, El Fasican or something. Okay. Anyway, it just goes on and on. Oh, then it says this. Yeah, uh, Mahudi says, let the let the followers of the gospel judge by what Allah has re has revealed therein, and those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are the transgressors. Man, I think I'm going to have to definitely change my underwear after all that. No, I mean take a cold shower. Uh, that was orgasmic. By the way, what it, was it that you said about 547? What was that about? Quote, the true meaning is, quote, abide the law or stand fast by the law. You said that, didn't you? It means obey what is in your book or stand fast by the law. Uh, uh, hey, you can't get rid... You... You... You can't... Get rid of your Dali genetics. Both you and Yusuf Ali are dumb and acham. In Quran 547, 568, 568, uh, 566, it does not mean to judge at all. Sheep cannot judge. The true meaning is abide the law or stand fast by the law. Yusuf Ali is Indian, but I, create, uh, but I appreciate his great work. See? See all what I posted of Quran 568 again, please. In fact, you are in you or any kafir is the worst of the beasts. Yea, do you mind the beast worship God? And you have a brain and you don't worship your creator and sustainer. My God is my my God is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is he I bow me to. See the Israelis hate you guys. Since the majority of us seem to have reelected no blamer, hey, I don't blame them. And they uh, wouldn't tell you that. I don't care if they hate me. As a matter of fact, I don't care if Muslims hate me. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. As people, not as a religion, they have suffered a lot from you. Hey, I didn't vote for a blamer. And they have a good hate memory. What did I do f to them? I struggle with them, and their animosity is not like them hating you. Because I never shot missiles at them from the very territory gods that they traded for peace. Uh, we and them have tribal wars, and this is a political rivalry between two cousins on the piece of land. That's what Muslims say. Little do people realize it's because Muslims believe anything not under Islamic territorial control, Dar al Islam, is the house of war, Dar al Harb, and Israel is right in the middle of what Muslims believe to be Dar al Islam. To the point where Muslims fulfill the first part of Psalm 83 daily that says, Let us come, let's cut off. Uh, Israel from being a nation that the let's cut her off from being a nation that the name of Israel shall be heard no long no long shall no longer be heard in remembrance. <coughs> we hate each other openly. Do the Jews of Israel make Jewish Mickey Mouses brainwashing the children to believing Muslims are quote killers of the women's and the children's and dying in the cause of Adonai is the highest level one can achieve? Be truthful, O slave of the best of deceivers. I think I'll end it here. It's almost about to end anyway. Yeah, it's going to bye. Bye.